Brewers, Recyclers, and Refiners. Uh, Moose here again. Today we're going to be doing um, another video for Gold uh, Gold Month. Um, we're going to be making um, an air bubbler. This system is the system that I prefer to acid peroxide, uh, simply because you're only using one chemical. You're just using uh, muriatic acid or hydrochloric acid, 31.45%. Uh, and instead of putting hydrogen peroxide in there, we're going to be introducing air bubbles to it, which will keep that reaction going. Um, it tends to make the solution last longer and it's great for when you're uh, processing large amounts of material. Uh, the system is pretty easy to build and just takes you know, a few days to you know, process just like AP. Uh, so let's take a look. Alright, so the first the first thing you're going to need is, you know, I process, you know, a, a fairly decent amount of this stuff so I use a five gallon pail. Uh, you want to make sure that it's plastic, clean on the inside, and you want to make sure that there's absolutely no holes or cracks in it. You don't want acid leaking all over. Um, this is a pickle bucket I got from a local sandwich place. And what I like about this bucket is that the lid has this black rubber gasket in there so that when I'm done, I can close it up, seal it tight, and it's pretty good at keeping all the fumes in there. So we've got our clean bucket here. Alright, so the next thing we need is a smaller pail or bucket to fit inside the larger one. Um, what we're going to do, you want to make sure that you drill a bunch of holes in the bottom. i move my shirt here so you can see. See all the holes there? That's going to help all the little gold foils sink to the bottom, uh, especially when you're rinsing and pulling the bucket out. So it's going to make the whole process a lot easier and make sure you put some of these holes in the side too. Now because this is going to be submersed in hydrochloric acid you want to make sure you take off any metal handles. Alright so what I've done is I've drilled a couple of holes here see my hand through there uh, where the handles were and what I'm going to do is run some tubing through it so that I can actually still make a handle, just one that won't corrode with the, um, the hydrochloric. So I've got some spare tubing here, rubber tubing, but I'm just going to run through the two holes and tie a pretty good knot on one end. And then do the same thing on this end. Alright, so now we've got a handle in there so that we can you know, shake things around during the um, during the, the process of recovering the, the foils. Alright, so we've got that. Now, what you're going to need is a source of air. So, some people use uh, those little air bubblers that you buy for aquariums or fish tanks. Uh, I'm using a nebulizer uh, that I got from um, Medical Supply that has already been used, and once one of these has been used, they can't resell it. So I got it for nothing. Alright, so real quick, what you want to do is take your rubber tubing and you can either again, you know, tie a knot on one end of it, or you can use these plastic zip ties, it's gonna be plastic. So what that's going to do is that's going to prevent too much air from coming out of the end, which is what I want because I want to be able to um, perforate or put little holes going up you know, to about there. All right, so that more air is it's dispensed more throughout the whole solution. All right, so I'm going to take my drill here, the small bit. I'm just going to make a bunch of holes going up. All 
All right, so the next step is to affix the, um, the side of the rubber hose that has the holes in it to the bottom of the pail. I'm going to use some plastic twist ties here. And I'm going to plug this in and give it a quick test. Yep, I'm feeling air out of all the holes. You're going to feel more of the ones closest to the uh, um, source of air. We'll get one going all the way down. Alright, All right, so we have the base unit, this is what the, um, is going to sit in the bottom of the pail. So now all we got to do is set that in. Alright, so we set the pail in, and at this point your bubbler is, a, is good to go. Um, you have the supply of oxygen, you have your bucket with its little handle and all the little holes in it. You have your air supply tube hooked up to the bottom. It sits in there and nice and flat. So all that's left to do is to uh, fill this up with gold fingers and put some uh, muriatic acid in just to cover them and turn on the air. Alright, so that's how you build an air bubbler. It's pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, all the parts together, uh, excluding the um, the source of air, everything costs less than five bucks. You know, I got the little black bucket at a dollar store, uh, the bag of twist ties at the dollar store, this bucket I got from a local sandwich shop for a couple bucks, so that's four, and it came with the lid, and the, the, uh, the nebulizer I got for free, so, you know, pretty cheap to build. So all you have left to do is now again fill this up with your trimmed gold fingers and start making some gold. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you keep watching uh, for the rest of uh, Gold Month here, and make sure you check out the other videos that I put on this month so far. Uh, I have a few more coming out. The month isn't over yet, so uh, so thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you on the next one.